Alison Roman, she has some pretty famous recipes right now. Internet famous. So famous that all you gotta do is put a the in front of it and then call it whatever it is. So a few months back, I made the cookies. Here's another one. It's called The Stew. Now I'm scrolling through Instagram and because I follow a lot of different cooking accounts and the algorithm and all that mumbo jumbo. Um, well, if I search The Stew, look at this. This is, everyone's kind of posting the same type of, whoa, not him, but Allison, she's, she's done it again. Now I wanna throw my hat to the ring. So that's what we're gonna do today. We're gonna make The Stew over here. What the hell is in this stew? Why is it called the stew? It must have earned this title for a reason. It has something to do with what's around here. Um, all these ingredients. Of course, the main event right here, how could I forget that? Two cans of chickpeas, garlic, ginger, one large yellow onion or two small ones, says I. Olive oil, salt and pepper. Whoa! Turmeric, chili flakes, a liter of coconut milk, chicken stock, Greek yogurt. Later down the road, we're gonna need some, some kale and some mint leaves, but that's later on. Let's not worry about that just yet. I'm gonna take all this stuff and put that over by the stove. Cause I won't need that until later. I will focus, I will focus on my, oh, for the love of I'm going to focus on my aromatics. Am I using that term correctly? I need to chop these up. Yes, one day I will improve these knife skills, but for now, these are the skills I got. Paraphrasing very loosely and maybe incorrectly, but if you are leaving bigger chunks of garlic in this stew, um, they might not break down completely and then you might be biting into a large piece of garlic. Um, so I'm gonna cut these up into small ones. Onion. Oh man. Emotional. And we're gonna need about two inches of this ginger. One, two. Two little itty bitty pieces. You can leave the skin on, it don't matter. So before I move my base camp over to the stove, um, let me focus on these, the chickpeas. I'm gonna head over to the sink, give these a wash. Chickpeas cleaned off, ready to go. I'm gonna move my home base over here now, over to the stove. Big old pot, medium heat. Onions, garlic, ginger, all down the hatch. Just add your olive oil, plenty is enough. Pepper, salt, and I'm gonna cook it until the onions start looking translucent. The other stuff, if kind of looks a little brown, especially around the edges. That might take like um, five minutes or something. I'm just gonna add a little bit more olive oil. As per Allison, chickpeas, love it. <sighs> Color of everything in there is looking really good. I'm gonna add, whoa, the chickpeas. In they go. More salt, pepper, red chili flakes, and a big old spoonful of turmeric. I just let this hang out here for like 10 minutes. It's looking pretty fantastic, but I need to take out some of these chickpeas for garnish later. That's probably too much. That's probably too little. That's probably right. So the whole idea is that these chickpeas need to be brown and crispy. So that's gonna take around 10 minutes, but I have to keep an eye on what's going on behind me because um, I don't really have like a non-stick uh, pan, or at least I'm not using one. So, uh, you know, things are starting to get a bit, like check out the bottom of the pan here. That's, just gotta keep an eye on that. I'm gonna add all this coconut milk, all of it. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Um, there we go. 
So you have the option of either like a veggie broth, you can keep it vegetarian, or you can add chicken broth. For me today, I'm gonna use the chicken broth, but you could do vegetarian if you want. Two cups. Season one more time. Okay, so right now, obviously it's like soup. Now we gotta make it turn into a stew. And we do that by waiting 30 to 35 to 40 minutes. I'm just gonna go ahead with the back of the spoon and crush some of these still intact chickpeas. So it's time to deal with this. Tear away from the stem. Okay, I think that should be enough. Like, I don't wanna go overboard with that. Uh, back over here. So let's add the kale. Too much. Quick lesson, uh, while you're dealing with the kale, make sure that you do that at a more appropriate time than I did, which was right at the end. Took my eye off the stew, the stew thickened right up. Shit. It turned into something that looked more like, like uh, chana masala, like Indian food. Uh, so I just heated up some broth, added it into the stew, and now we are good. Get enough of the stew, get enough chickpeas, and enough of the green stuff. So it's a nice combination of all three. We're not done yet. So first what we're gonna start with is just like a little bit of Greek yogurt on top some mint, chili flakes, a little sparkle of turmeric. What else, what else, what else? Just a little, I don't know how they always do that with the thumb, with the olive oil. Oh shit. And then a quick cleanup. This should have been done before the mint. Chickpeas that I removed from my bowl earlier, those go in there as well. That's the stew. I may be speaking out of turn here, but does this not remind you of like some sort of Indian food, like chana masala with chickpeas, the color, the turmeric? To be honest, it kind of tastes like that too, and I like it. Now, if you're gonna make anything tonight, just make this. Okay guys, that's it. That's the stew. I hope you guys enjoyed the show. I uh, appreciate you guys watching all the way to the end too. Uh, if you want to support the show and help me out in any way, uh, you can head over to the link in the description. That's my Patreon. That's a way to help support the show and become a producer of the show. That is a way for you to get your name up here at the end of the videos, as well as other perks that are only available over there. So check it out if you're interested. If not, totally cool too. I'll see you guys soon.